Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey everybody, Paul Murray, Family for the Gaming. Court is in session. This is an FG, uh, FG politics, sorry. This is FG politics on uh, would I accept the Medal of Freedom from President Joe Biden? And this is something I had some people ask, and like, you know, is, is much damage as Joe Biden has done to the country already, as much problems as Joe Biden has caused, um, and how he doesn't really seem to respect people of faith, uh, how he has been just absolutely horrible to Christians and conservatives, uh, how he's lied about all these things, about, you know, about how he's going to take care of COVID, and he, you know, when he campaigned now, it's just the exact opposite. Oh, that's so much harder, and the media has given them all kinds of, of uh, grace and forgiveness they wouldn't give President Trump. And, uh, you know, as much as I disagree with him on policies, how he's destroying jobs, how he's, you know, ruining America, trying to make America a third world country, it, it's one of those things, it's like, do you, do you say, no, I wouldn't accept the, uh, the Medal of Freedom for all the wonderful work I've done from a bad president, or do you just say, well, I'd respect the Medal of Freedom over the person giving it to me. You know, and that's one of those things I don't really know. Um, you know, kind of another another question some people ask that's kind of related to this is like, well, would you shake his hand? You come shake your hand. I mean, I, I wouldn't shake Bill Clinton's hand when he was running for president because I knew of. I mean, well, first off, I don't want to catch some disease, but <laughs> on top of that, um, it was like I just. I didn't have any respect for the lack of morals and ethics from him. Um, and so it's one of those things I, I don't really know. And, you know, I guess I'd be worried, you know, like where, if I wore it like this, that he'd come and sniff my, my wig. I mean, it, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't want him coming up and sniffing me. I think that's kind of creepy personally. Uh, so it's one of those things, it's one of those things that I'm still trying to figure out, you know, it's like, uh, at first, you know, my first reaction was like, no, absolutely not. But like I said, the more I think about it, it's like, well, it's it's very elite company, you know, given, being given the, the Medal of Freedom. Um, you know, you have some very well-known people, you know, like even like Rush Limbaugh got the, the Medal of Freedom. And he's done so much good work for so many people, brought so many people together, and just brought so much joy to so many families. It's like, you know, I mean, and yes, he and Trump were, you know, kind of on, on friendly terms. So, I mean, that, that's an easier one, you know, if it was, you know, a, a President Trump or a President Ted Cruz, you know, someone like that. Well, yeah, definitely I'd, you know, hop on board. But this thing's not so political and toxic, and everyone wants to make a point all the time. But then there's also the other side of the coin, which is, well... If uh, these, these, these athletes disagree with President Trump so much, they should have gone there to the White House and told them what they thought. You know, people are like, if you, this is what you really, you really think about it, I mean, you should sit there and have a conversation with them. You know, maybe you realize that you're blinded by uh, a lying, falsely accusing uh, media on the, on the other side of the coin. He might listen, and, and like he did for uh, Kim Kardashian, you know, freed that person from jail. So you might get a presidential pardon out of it for someone, you know. It's one of those things. He did a lot of great things that he's not really given credit for. And then ultimately, as I look at that, I'm like, well, I think I would. I think I would go and accept it. And I would give him a piece of my mind. I would sit there and tell him, I think you're doing horrible things. You know, I would give him a piece of my mind. I would tell him, that, you know, this is... This is where I think you're wrong. You're, you're, you're implementing failed policies from the past. 
why don't you, you know, look at what's worked, actually technically worked. Why don't you stop all the racism? Why don't you stop all the sexism? Why don't you stop the attacks on uh, religious people? And why don't you actually follow and obey the U.S. Constitution? That's what you're supposed to do, you know? So I think I would. I would, I would definitely uh, accept it. And, and I'd give him a piece of my mind. I'd tell him what I was thinking. And if, you know, that became controversial, so be it. But I figure he might as well use that opportunity. I mean, I think it was President Obama said that never let a, a, a crisis go to waste, never let a disaster go to waste. Use that as an opportunity. If this is how the political left is going to do things, they're going to always use everything as an opportunity, then I think the political right needs to do the same thing. And, and moderates like myself need to be like, you know what? Let's, let's do the same thing. So that's my thoughts on that. I thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.